I have arranged a meeting with my uncle Ahmed and the Janissary captain, Tariq Barlateh. The Janissaries are loyal to my grandfather, but they have lately become angry over his choice of the next Sultan. Your uncle? Exactly. The Janissaries prefer my father, Selim. You are in a tough spot. But how do the Byzantines fit into this? I had hoped you might know. Would you be willing to help me find out? I am tracking them myself. I can help you, as long as our interests run parallel. I will take what I can get. There is a hatch at the top of that tower which leads to a secret room. Go there, wait, and watch. Heed my nephew, Tarek. Your incompetence borders on treason. And to think that today, your Janissaries were outshone by an Italian loot player. Preposterous. An inexcusable failing, Effendim. I will conduct a full investigation. I will conduct the investigation, Tarek. For reasons that should be obvious. Evet, Shezadem. You have your father's wisdom. And his impatience. Uncle, I am relieved to see you safe. Likewise, Suleiman. Allah emanet olam. Tariq Bey, a word. What was the purpose of this attack, I wonder? To make me look weak? An ineffective steward of the city? If you are the hand in this mess, Tariq, you have made a grave mistake. My father has chosen me as the next Sultan, not my brother. Ahmed. I am not depraved enough to imagine the conspiracy you accuse me of. What have I done to earn such contempt from the Janissaries? What has my brother done for you that I have not? May I speak freely? You'd better. You are weak, Ahmed. Pensive in times of war and restless in times of peace. You lack passion for the traditions of the Ghazi, yet you speak of fraternity in the company of infidels. <laughs> you make a decent philosopher, Ahmed. But you will be a poor sultan. You may show yourself out. Quite a family, hmm. Your uncle lacks sway over the men he will soon command. Tariq is a hard man. Proud and capable, but ambitious. And he admires my father greatly. But he failed to secure this palace against the Byzantine invasion. That alone is worth our attention. Precisely. Where should we begin? For now, keep an eye on Tariq and his Janissaries. They spend much of their free time in and around the bazaar. I will start there when I can. <laughs> Mia cara! The strings of fate have drawn us together. Two Italiani. Lost and alone in the Orient. Do you not feel the... magnetismo? I feel many things, Messere. Nausea above all. Is this man bothering you, Sophia? Excuse me, Messere. But the lady and I are... Oh! Oh! Il diavolo in persona! Stay back! Duccio. A pleasure. Run, buona donna! Run for your life! Who was that? He was engaged to my sister many years ago. And what happened? His cazzo was engaged to six others. Chiedovenia. So what brings you to these docks? I took a break from my work to retrieve a package. But here they claim the captain's papers are not in order. So I wait. <sighs> que secatura. I could be here all day. Let me see what I can do. I know a few ways to bend the rules. Do you now? See, si. I will meet you back at your shop.
Sarto. Perfetto. Salute Ezio, any luck? Mademigella Sofia Sartor, Libraia, Constantinopoli. Oh no, look at the damage. Did they use this to fight off pirates? Well, so far so good. Ah, beautiful, no? This is a print of a map by Martin Walse Müller. See here, the new lands. Described by Messer Amerigo Vespucci. Or Cristoforo Colombo. History has a strange way of unfolding. What do you make of this body of water here? A new ocean, perhaps. Most of the scholars I know claim the size of the globe has been underestimated. Incredibile. The more we learn about the world, the less we seem to know. Well, you honored your promise. Here is mine, fulfilled. If we are correct, this should show you the location of the first book. I must admit, my head is swimming with the prospect of seeing these books. This is knowledge the world has lost, and must have again. Perhaps I could print a few copies to distribute myself. Or a small run of 50 or so, that should be enough. <laughs> Perché ridi? Forgive me. It is a joy to see someone with a passion so personal and noble. It is inspiring. Goodness, where is this coming from? Grazie, Sofia. I will return.
fazla çalışıyorum. Bütün gün kutu taşıyorum ve akşamları dolanıyorum. Hiç boş vakti. You held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Forgive me for this, Mentor. But the Apple corrupted you, and through you it would have corrupted us. For us to live, you had to die. Is it truly over? Is that sorcerer dead? He was no sorcerer, just an ordinary man in command of illusions. Have you prepared the pyre? I have, but... Altair, some of the men will not stand for such a thing. Let me handle it. Are you fit to travel? Well enough, yes. I asked Malik to ride to Jerusalem with news of Al-Mulim's death. Will you ride to Akre and do the same? Of course. How did it come to this? My mind was clear, but my body, it would not move. Was our mentor the cause of this confusion? Do not believe our belief. What has happened here? Our mentor deceived us all. The Templars corrupted him. Where is your proof? Walk with me, Abbas, and I will explain. And if I find your answers wanting, I will talk until you are satisfied. Do you remember the artifact we recovered from Robert de Saab in Solomon's temple? The artifact you were sent to retrieve, but others delivered? Yes. It is a Templar tool. The Apple of Eden. It can conjure illusions and control men's minds. A deadly weapon. And you believe al Mualim fell under its spell? I do. Today he used the Apple to enslave Masyaf. You saw that for yourself. I do not know what I saw. Listen, Abbas. The apple is safe in Al-Mulim's study. When I'm finished here, I will show you all I know. Altair! No! I must know that he cannot return. But this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Defiler! Hear me out. This body could be another one of al Mulim's phantoms. I must be certain. Lies! All your life, you have made a mockery of our creed. You bend the rules to suit your whims. ...while well, belittling and humiliating those around you! Restrain him! Did you not hear him? Al-Mualim is bewitched! Ah!
What did I tell you, Altair? Abbas, stop! What did you think would happen when you murdered our beloved mentor? You loved Al Mulim less than anyone. You blamed him for all your misfortune, even your father's suicide. My father was a hero! This is not the time to quarrel over the past. We must decide what to do with that weapon. Whatever this artifact is capable of, you are not worthy to wield it! No man is. Oh, it is beautiful, is it not? Are they dead? Forgive me. I did not know. Have you anything to teach us? Or do you lead us all to ruin? Altair, barely 26 and already a Grandmaster in command of a divided order. How does one cope with such responsibility and unlimited power? I've made the acquaintance of an Ottoman prince named Suleiman. He's a clever young man, with a fortitude uncommon for his age. On his suggestion, I will be investigating some wayward Janissaries who may be in league with the Templars. With luck, they will lead me straight to the core of the Templars' leadership. Meanwhile, the Venetian Sophia Sartor continues to help me find the hidden Maziav keys. She is a diligent woman full of passion and vigor, and I enjoy her company immensely. But I dare not tell her the purpose of my stay here, nor of my true vocation. Those who do not volunteer in our struggle should not be forced to fight it.
You see this rack? Incredible quality. Your feet will love you more than your wife does. I'm not married. Ah, you are better off. Come, feel it. You have sold well today. I have not sold a thing. The Janissaries confiscated most of my rugs just because they were imported. Do you know Tariq Barletti, their captain? Uh, he's around here somewhere, an arrogant man, but... Uh, you insult me, sir! I cannot take less than 200 Aksha for this! My final offer! When I find him, I will ask about the rugs. You drive a hard bargain, Yabanche. Shall we compromise at 180? 180 Aksha. And we part as friends. Mehmet's accomplishments. I'm beginning to think this bazaar was the finest. If you have no business here, you do not belong. Lead the way! an important meeting. Make sure I am not being followed. I want that contract for the 
I will be back tomorrow. And if you have not disposed of all this foreign made garbage, I will confiscate it myself and throw it into the fossil. Lead the way! Your cause is just unbelievable. not be able to make it tomorrow. We are going to visit my uncle's friend near Izmir. Apparently, he is a fine diet. But our sources here are barely able to keep up with our needs. The change of scenery. What news? Manuel has agreed to meet you, Tarek. He's waiting by the arsenal gate. <laughs> An eager old weasel, isn't he? Come. Verify the amount, I think. The 
but the money stays with me until I have seen the cargo for myself. And the say that's quality. Understood. You are a shrewd man, Manuel. Trust without cynicism is hollow. The count is good, Tarek. It's all here. So, what now? You will have access to the arsenal. When you are satisfied, the cargo will be delivered to a location of your choosing. Are your men prepared to travel? Not a problem. Polikala. I will have a map drawn up for you within a week. Are we here for the same reason? One of my men claims he saw a shipment of weapons enter the arsenal. So I got curious. Weapons? I would like to see them for myself. Short of killing everyone, I'm not sure how you will get inside. You have been warned twice. No merchants near the arsenal wall. Take this away. Hypocrites! If your men did not buy my produce, I would not sell it here. You are worse than the Byzantines, you traitor! Ah! Hold your tongue, parasite! Even in times of peace, the poor are always under siege. If we inspire them to vent their anger, perhaps that will help our cause. Feigning solidarity to push your own agenda. Who's the gentleman? No? Men and women of the city! Hear me now! You have broken no laws and thus deserve no The Janissaries are corrupted, good people of Constantinia. They have surrendered their loyalties to the devil. They clear this and all None of this concerns you. Good citizens of Istanbul! The Janissaries call you the... Yes. That gate will not stay closed for long. The people are doing you a favor, Ezio. Return it, and keep them safe from harm.
as in this city living like a cipher. Finally, everything is falling into place. When the Baleo Logos line is restored, Manuel, do not forget who helped you bring it back. Of course not, my friend. I would not dream of betraying a man of your influence. But you must be patient. Nova Roma wasn't built in a day. I'm satisfied. Take me to my ship. If a single one is damaged, the money stays with me. Merda. Salute! I am closing in on two more books. One near Topkapa, and the other in the Bayseed district. Bayseed first. Topkapa will be a dead end. Ah, see. Si. What do you make of this? Oh, Ezio. Incredibile! Early Coptic bindings, still in good shape. Amazing. This must be a third century transcription of the original. Sophia, what happened here? Oh, that happens once or twice a year. People break in thinking they will find money. I do not keep much here, but this time they made off with a portrait of some value. It is a shame. You keep working. I will find your painting. Ezio, the thief could be anywhere by now. If the thief came for money, but took a painting, he should be close by, eager to get rid of it. Well, if you happen to find it within the next few hours, meet me by the aqueduct. I will be running errands. Confess! I have done that. I do not need to. I will just keep hitting you until you talk. I found them. I mean, someone gave it to me. Get your story straight before you lie to my face. God help me! He has much better things to do than answer your prayers. I do not care how you got the painting. Just tell me where it is. I sold it to a merchant in the bazaar. 
How else will I feed myself? Next time, find a nicer way to be a canalia. It is a good likeness, don't you think? I prefer the original. <laughs> Buffone. This was a gift from my father for my 28th birthday. I had to sit for Messer Albrecht Durer for a full week. Can you imagine me sitting still for seven days doing nothing? I cannot. Una tortura. <laughs> so, I found you another book location. And it is not far from here, actually. Grazie. Ezio, what is this all about? You are not a scholar, that much is clear. Do you work for the church? <laughs> not the church, no. But I am a teacher, of a kind. I will explain one day, Sofia, when I can. What did you find? Another key? Door of some kind, bricked up with hard stone. Ah, promising. The first key was found behind a similar door. Timulus. And how did they open that door? They did it. The earthquake did. Iberokai. All we have are a few barrels of gunpowder. This should do. And if it does not? We get more. Gap! The assassin! Go! Go!
Show yourself! He's dead! Ville! No, no. He is here somewhere. Behind us! Never underestimate this madman! A body! 